Pope John XXIII's papacy would be outside the living memory of most Australians. He only led the Vatican for four and a half years in the late 50s and early 60s, but he's widely credited for his efforts to modernise one of the oldest religious institutions in the world. He was born Angelo Giuseppe Roncalli in 1881 to a peasant farming family in northern Italy. His simple Catholic upbringing and service in the Italian army as a soldier and chaplain during World War I exposed him to the plight of the working class. It shaped his socially minded ethos as he rose through the church hierarchy. He sheltered Jews fleeing persecution during World War II and became heavily involved in post-war recovery as a senior Vatican diplomat. In 1958, he was elected Pope. Within months, he had expanded the College of Cardinals, a papal advisory group to make it the most internationally representative body in Catholic history. His signature endeavor, though, was Vatican II a kind of ideological renewal that shifted Catholicism from its outdated legalistic and doctrinal foundation to a more pastoral faith. It meant that lay people were finally recognized as equal members of the church, no lesser than Vatican chiefs. It declared that God existed beyond the church and that every person had a right to choose their own religion. It was a dramatic shift away from the Vatican's authoritarian outlook. In 1962, Pope John was diagnosed with stomach cancer and within a year, it had taken his life. But his legacy, that Catholicism was not a doctrine but a way of life, is said to have preserved and revived the religion at a crucial period in history.